Hi everyone. Welcome to this video on getting started with the Syncfusion Flutter slider. In this video, you will see how to add the Syncfusion Flutter sliders package to a Flutter project and add the slider widget to it. After creating the slider, I will explain how to set value limits, show data labels, intervals, and ticks, enable tooltips, and format the slider values. Finally, I will show you how to set date time values to the slider and show how to render a vertical slider. First, open the VS Code Editor. You can also use an IDE you prefer such as Android Studio or IntelliJ. This computer was already set up with the Flutter development environment, so I can directly create a new Flutter project. Open the command palette and create a new Flutter project. Choose a folder to create the project in. Name the project My Flutter App. VS Code creates the Flutter project for you. First, run this application. Choose the Android simulator. You can also use the terminal to run the project. You can see the application with a button widget at the bottom and a text widget at the center. When you click the button, the click count is updated in the text widget. Now, let me show you how to add a slider in this app, replacing the text and button widgets. First, I need to import the Syncfusion Flutter sliders package from the pub.dev website. So, open the pub spec YAML file and declare the dependency Syncfusion underscore Flutter underscore sliders using the latest version. When you save the file, VS Code runs the command Flutter pub git to download the package. The download is now complete. Next, open the main.dart file. Import the sliders.dart library so that you can use the slider widget in this file. Let's write the slider related code within the My Homepage State class. So, remove the code in the My Homepage State class for the sake of clarity. Override the build method, and within the build method, return a safe area widget to render the slider within the usable area. To its child, set a scaffold widget so that you can set the material design to your application. To the scaffold's body, set the SF slider widget. Here you can notice that the SF slider requires the unchanged callback and value property. So, I will set the value property first in the SF slider. Let me create a field of type double to store the value of the slider. Assign the value 0.5. In the SF slider set the value property with the newly created field. You can also set the value of type date time. I will explain the date time data type later in this video. Next, I need to set the unchanged callback with a function receiving a parameter that holds the new value when the slider is changed manually. Using the setState method, set the value field with the parameter field so that the value will be updated to the slider widget. Now everything is set. I restart the application. You can see the provided value set in the slider. The default values of the min and max properties of the SF slider are 0.0, .0 and 1.0 respectively. Let me change them now. I set the value field as 70.0. In the SF slider, I set the min value as 0.0 .0 and the max value as 100.0, and then I restart the application. You'll notice the value has been changed. Next, I'll enable labels so that you can see the min and max values in the slider. Set the show labels property with the value true. Save the file. You can see the labels are displayed in the slider. You can show intervals on the slider by setting the interval property with the desired value. I set the interval as 20 and save the file, and you can see the intervals displayed in the slider. You can also show ticks by enabling the show ticks property. The values in the slider can also be formatted. To do so, first I need to import the Intel package. In the SF slider, set the number format property with the class number format by passing the parameter with the string dollar symbol. After saving the file, you can see the values are formatted with the dollar symbol. I can show tooltips by setting the enable tooltip property with the value true. Now, dragging the slider bar, you can see the tooltip tell us the value selected in the slider. Next, let me show you how to set date time values in the slider. First, I need to change the variable type from double to date time and set a date time value to it. Next, I set the min property with a date time value and do the same for max property. I changed the interval value from 20 to 5, so that the slider will display the interval as 5 years once I set the interval type. Next, I need to set the date interval type for the slider. I can set the date interval type as days, hours, minutes, months, seconds, or years. I set it as years. 
I need to format the values as years too. To do so, I remove the number format property since this is outside the scope of our example, add the date format property, and set the value with the date format class's Y constructor. Now, I'll restart the application. You can see the date time values are displayed in the slider. When I drag the slider bar, the tooltip also displays the year values. Finally, let me show you how to create a vertical slider. In the SF slider widget, use the vertical constructor so that the vertical slider will be generated. All the properties are supported by the vertical slider too. Now, restart the application. You can see the slider is rendered vertically. That's it. Let me summarize the main points of this video. You saw how to add the Sync Fusion Flutter slider widget to a Flutter project. You learn how to set value limits, show data labels, intervals, and ticks, enable tooltips, and format the slider values. Finally, you saw how to set datetime values in the slider and how to render the slider vertically. You can download this working example from the GitHub link in the video description below. I've also provided a link where you can check if you are eligible for our community license, which gives you a free license key to use our Flutter products. If you found this video useful, click the like button and subscribe to our channel to get notifications about new videos. Thanks for watching.